Well, it would be up to him, but my, my view would be what the president should do is now finish the last 10 days uh, of his presidency. So no. Uh, no. Your fellow Republicans have been quite critical, uh, including uh, Liz Cheney, including Mitt Romney, who called this an insurrection and said that the president was directly involved. Uh, Justice Department affidavits have individuals saying they came here because the president told him to, them to. Is the president a danger to the country? Well, I think the president's uh, decisions and his actions that day and leading up to that day on this topic were clearly reckless. Uh, I said that uh, very early in the evening on Wednesday that this was a tragic day for the, the country and the president had some had involvement in that. Are Republican uh, but, leaders going to hold them accountable in any way for it? Well, I think the country is uh, the, the right way to hold presidents accountable. Uh, the, the president should be very careful over the next 10 days uh, that his behavior is what you'd expect from the leader of the greatest country in the world. Now, my personal view is uh, that the president touched the hot stove on Wednesday and is unlikely to touch it again. Uh, and if that's the case, I think we, we get every day we get closer to the last day of his presidency. We should be thinking more about the first day mm -hmm. of the next presidency than the last day of his presidency, in my view. And I'll be there on that day as the chairman of that event, seeing the new president sworn in. Uh, the, the President Trump says he's not coming. I hope uh, Vice yep. President Pence does. And I was proud to see the vice president step up as I was standing there right with him as one of the four members of Congress that count those electoral ballots and do what the law required us to do. Right. But your fellow Missouri Senator Josh Hawley uh, was on the other side of that. Do you think that he was complicit along with the five other senators who continued to propagate this lie that there could be a change to the outcome of the election on Wednesday? Well, well, I only have one vote in the Senate, which is my vote. Now, I did the, the day Senator Hawley announced uh, he'd be contesting those electoral votes, announced that I would not be. Uh, when Senator Cruz said he had a plan to put in case, uh, put back in, in, in place a commission like the one formed in 1877, right. I said that wouldn't happen. I'm not, I wasn't interested then or now in spending a lot of time on things that can't happen. So just no like sanction. the impeachment, just like the impeachment of the president to remove him from office clearly is not going to happen between now uh, and the last day he's in office. So you and don't that's support, thing. you don't believe he has committed an impeachable offense? I don't think there's any, uh, uh, that's not really the question. The question well, is, is, my there question. Any, is there any, well, I'm giving you my answer. Is there any likelihood that he could possibly be removed between now and January the 20th? And if there's no additional ensuing event, my, my belief is there is no possibility of that. And okay. so as Nancy Pelosi just said, and as Jim Clyburn said yeah. earlier today, this is more of a long-term punishment of the president yes. than trying to remove him from office. That's, that's right. when the politics take over and the protecting the government uh, is left behind. All right. We'll see uh, if you have a different answer in the new Congress, sir. Uh, thank you for your time this morning. We turn